the previous video, you set up the AWS Linux instance with Docker successfully. It is now time to install HCI. To prepare your instance for an installation of HCI, you must first create a new directory for it. Then, select the new HCI directory you just created. Use any tool that you have to upload the HCI package to the current directory. For this example, our user has chosen the wget command in Linux. Depending upon your connection to machine, this can take several minutes. Once your HCI download has completed, unpack the installation tar file. After the file finishes unpacking, it is time to install HCI. With the IP addresses you have just gathered, you will now need to run the setup script on each instance. Use the following format to deploy it. Depending upon your connection to machine, this can take several minutes. The same way we previously configured Docker to launch automatically at reboot is what we will now similarly do for HCI. To prepare for these changes, copy the HCI service file. Edit the HCI service file to run automatically when an instance is rebooted. Now it is time to start HCI. After you have launched HCI, you can check its status to confirm that the watchdog service is running and that the instance is ready for deployment. If you have set everything up correctly to this point, your system will be listed as ready. Verify that the HCI Docker images are loading correctly. If no errors appear, you are now ready to connect to the HCI admin app to configure HCI. Taking the public IP address of your AWS instance, enter it into a web browser using the following format. HCI deploys with a self-signed certificate, which produces a warning message in your browser. Accept the warning message and continue to your IP address. Log in to the Content Intelligence Deployment Wizard by setting the admin password for your instance. At this point, you can verify all the details of your HCI installation licensing information, cluster host name and IP, the type of product deployment, the cluster topology, and any advanced configurations you need to make. Once you have applied and confirmed all of the changes and details, click Deploy Cluster. Once the setup has completed, click Finish. You are taken to the HCI single sign-on screen and can begin using HCI on your AWS EC2 instance. It is recommended you start with the admin app in order to further adjust and set up your HCI instances and services. This concludes the three-part video series on installing HCI on an Amazon EC2 instance. Thank you for watching.